Very good afternoon. Welcome to BBC London. I'm Thomas McGill. Around two million people have been enjoying Notting Hill Carnival for a second day. It's one of the world's largest street parties celebrating Caribbean culture. And this year, the focus is on making this, marking the 75th anniversary since HMT Windrush arrived at Tilbury Docks. Sarah Welsh reports. <laughs> Representing the Commonwealth of Dominica today. My flag is from Barbados, a little tiny island in the sun. It's a lovely place. My flag is from Trinidad. Jamaica. We're Jamaica right now. Guyana. Mm. St. Vincent. Just some of the flags you'll see on the streets at Notting Hill Carnival. It's a huge weekend of dance, music, and costume in West London. But its roots are in the Caribbean. Carnival weekend is massive for so many Londoners, but particularly for those with Caribbean heritage. And this year is particularly significant. It's the 75th diamond anniversary, which celebrates the um, docking of the HMT Empire Windrush, um, docking at Tilbury Docks. We are celebrating the elders today um, and giving them the um, the, the welcome that we would have loved to have, them to have got when they came to Britain. We met 95-year-old Dudley on the bus. He came here from Kingston, Jamaica in the 50s. So what does carnival mean to you then? Well, enjoyment. You know, nice to see you. Know, and a nice enjoyment. My grandparents were part of the Wimbush generation, so it's time to like look back to them and remember them. As I've got older, it's more important to try and like embrace the culture. Carnival is just culture, it's heritage. I've been coming since I was a kid, and now I get to bring my own daughter and let her feel the vibes as well. And what do the Windrush generation mean to you? The Windrush generation? They mean a lot to me. My grandma's a part of that generation, and I love her daily. So without her, I wouldn't be here. What's it like seeing all these young people wearing their flags? It's beautiful, absolutely fantastic. It shows that it brings people together. Music of food just brings people together, isn't it? And it's absolutely wonderful. The carnival is now one of the biggest in the world, but for some, it's a time and a place to celebrate and take pride in their heritage. Tara Welsh, BBC London. From midnight tonight, the cost of driving in all London boroughs will increase for those who drive the most polluting vehicles, making the ultra-low emission zone one of the world's largest of its kind. Owners will have to pay a daily charge of £12.50 to enter the zone, as our transport correspondent Tom Edwards reports. The ultra-low emission zone, or ULES, expands out to cover all of London tonight at midnight. It means your vehicle has to comply with emission standards, or you have to pay £12.50 a day. It will operate 24 hours a day, seven days a week, every day of the year, apart from Christmas Day. The changes have made life difficult at this car dealership in Windsor. We're struggling. Um, one, we can't find the stock at the prices we're used to paying. Prices are just escalating so fast. Um, and then what we're finding is if we do secure vehicles at a higher cost, that cost, has, the additional cost gets pushed onto the customer which they're not happy to pay. The principle behind the ultra low emission zone, or ULES, is that the polluter pays, and the aim is to get drivers to switch away from older, more polluting vehicles. Broadly, what that means is, if you've got a petrol vehicle that was first registered before 2005, or a diesel first registered before 2015, you'll have to pay the £12.50 a day charge. You can check if your vehicle is compliant on the TfL website. City Hall says the scheme will bring cleaner air to millions. Improving the air is an incredibly important thing uh, for us to be doing and all and any increase in air quality is to be welcomed because it leads to a corresponding reduction in the number of premature deaths. But opponents say the nine-month lead-in time was too quick and the costs are too high. Five councils failed to get it stopped in court and many councils in the home counties aren't allowing advance warning signs on their land. Nonetheless, from midnight tonight, the largest pollution charging zone in the world begins. Tom Edwards, BBC London. 
Well, residents on one road in southwest London that's not within the expanded zone say they're being offered cash by people who want to use their driveways to park so they can avoid paying the £12.50 charge. Leila Hayes can explain more. Bridge Road in Chessington, soon to become a corridor right through the ultra-low emission zone. From tomorrow, anyone driving down this road won't have to pay the ULES charge. But if you turn left or right and your car isn't compliant, that'll cost you £12.50. It means those looking to escape the fee have now offered Bridge Road residents cash to rent out their driveways. Guy put a leaflet through the other day and he was basically saying in his leaflet that he uh, lives down the road and it's going to cost X amount more for him just to park his car. So he wanted to park here for £100 a month. Fair enough. Were you tempted? Very. Paul Lauder says his mum, Betty, lives just inside the zone, can't afford a new car and will now have to pay to leave her house. She'd have to pay £12.50 to go down 200 metres to the end of her road to go to the doctors, the vets. Even when her partner was in, in care, she'd have to do that. Michael Russell had to buy a new van, but says expanding the zone will improve air quality. People are making more of it than what it is, you know. I mean, the vehicles and that. I suppose if they say you've got to do it, you've got to do it. ULES divides opinion, and in this case, divides roads. And the only way to avoid the charge here is to turn around and go back the way you came. Leila Hayes, BBC London. OK, time for a look at the weather with Sarah Thornton. Evening, we've had quite a bit of cloud across the capital today. When it did thin and break, we got a few showers. Similar story for tomorrow, perhaps more showers tomorrow, more bright spells too. But not first thing, we've got quite a bit of cloud at first tomorrow morning across the capital. It'll thin and break through the morning. Some sunny spells, though, will spark off those afternoon showers. Any of us could see them. There aren't loads around. They're not terribly heavy, uh, but they will be in evidence through the afternoon. 21 Celsius. It's a bit of a topsy-turvy week again this week, although Wednesday looks the driest day of the week. The showers return though on Thursday. Okay that's all from us. I'll be back again at 20 past 10 this evening but you can keep up to date with everything on the BBC News app and on BBC Radio London. We are still live from the Notting Hill Carnival this evening until 8 o'clock. Whatever you're up to have a lovely bank holiday Monday evening. Bye bye. <laughs>